I've noticed on a lot of guys' dating profiles, they say they do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. <laughs> but they never just say Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Like, they abbreviate it into BJJ. <laughs> the first time I saw this, I didn't know what it meant. I just thought it meant double blowjob. <laughs> blowjob job. Now, me and this guy, we match online, we get talking, right? He's like, yeah, I do BJJ. <laughs> it's really exhausting. <laughs> really tiring. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I've also taken on two guys at once. <laughs> really hurts the knees. <laughs> yeah, my favourite thing about that, though, is um, I like seeing a guy's face when he climaxes because it looks exactly like a cyclist riding around in the rain. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, I am a bit of a naughty girl. Like, um, the last time I flew internationally overseas, I decided to smuggle a little bit of weed into my luggage. Yeah, a little bit of jazz cabbage. A <laughs> little bit of the devil's bop choy. <laughs> but then when I got to the airport, I was freaking out because I realised what I was doing, right? And I could just see headlines all around the place that were like, amateur comedian smuggles weed. And as I was going through security, I was really freaking out. I was like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm finally going to get recognised for my comedy. <laughs> I got away with the whole thing though. I know, can you believe it? I should have smuggled fruit. <laughs> Another naughty thing that I did as well is um, I tried gold digging, right? I did. I saw this guy's profile online and he was like so, so, so old. He was so old. <laughs> he was 42. <laughs> and his bio said, I get flown all around the world for work, but I spend too many nights alone in five-star hotel rooms with king-sized beds. It's like, okay, all right. We match. <laughs> Turns out he was a flight attendant. <laughs> Disappointing. Then he starts telling me about his wife, his children, how he's attracted to younger women. And I'm like, wow, like for a flight attendant, this is so much baggage. <laughs> but the end of the story is that he actually unmatched me. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't even know older guys knew how to do that. <laughs> Turns out it's pretty easy. The exits were this way and this way. <laughs> um, the worst online interaction I had was actually a video interview. Right? Now, if you don't know what a video interview is, um, it's when you're interviewing for a company, they ask you a question, and you have to record yourself in your little laptop webcam recording your response. And after a designated amount of time, they cut you off, you don't get a second chance. So I was interviewing for like Mars, the chocolate company, and their question for me was, what are Mars five core values. I had two minutes to give my response. So I was like recording myself, like giving my response and giving my response. And then at like one minute 55, I just ended it on the cringiest thing. I was like, uh, and that is why Mars's five values bring value to my life. <laughs> and like the recording kept going. So then I just stayed there like, And it kept going, and it kept going. And after a while, I was like, all right, what's going on here? I leaned in a bit closer, and then I realised the full response was supposed to be five minutes long. <laughs> I'd only gone for two minutes, and now I had just recorded myself with my face this close <laughs> to the camera. So while I was still leaned up very close, I eloquently saved the situation by going, oh, fuck. <laughs> Anyway, 48 hours later, I get a response from Mars. And it says, congratulations, you've proceeded to the next round. <laughs> so apparently one of Mars's five values is blind faith. <laughs> Another thing that I did very recently is I went to a marriage class. Yeah, I did, because I'm single, but I'm manifesting. <laughs> And there's a, like, like a lesson from marriage class that I want to share with all of you. And this is like a participatory part of the show, so you can do it along with me. 
So what you do is you put your hands together like this. Yeah. And then you put your middle finger down. <laughs> now I know a bunch of you just want to go <laughs> It's not that. <laughs> so each of your fingers represents different people in your life. So you and your partner are the ring finger. Your parents are represented by your pinky finger because you'll realise they separate. <laughs> Sometimes jokes are sad. <laughs> they will leave you. Your index and your thumb, they represent your siblings and your children, and you'll realise that they separate as well. Right? They'll leave your life. But if you try to separate your ring finger, you can't. And in the class, they were like, this is because marriage is forever. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, but if you have your fingers normally, you can actually separate everyone. So the difference between me staying with my partner and us separating is just me lifting my middle finger. <laughs> so my parents are split, that is true. Um, and I'm not surprised, because my dad's a real weird cunt. <laughs> he is, like, here's this question he asked me. He was just like, hey, Jenny, do you think of getting plastic surgery? And I was like, what? No. And he said, well, you should. <laughs> you have small eyes. And I was just like, oh. Well, I wonder which tiny-eyed hypocrite gave those to me. <laughs> Beady-eyed bastard.